Hi everybody, it's Susan Brown. How are we all doing today in this time of too much, too fast? Well, um, I'm going to just get right down to it um, today in this video, my third video. I'm going to pull a card for us from the Dakini deck. And the Dakini deck is um, 30 cards based on my oil paintings that I made. I'm going to hold this question in this time for all of us of too much, too fast. What's, um, what would help? What would help with this trauma that we're experiencing every day? Something new, something more, something less. So, I'm going to fan the cards out. And pick a card for all of us. The wind really picked up outside. Ha! Huh? Wow. Responsibility. Okay, I love picking a card. Um, this is probably not the word I would have thought of in this time of too much, too fast, because, you know, it leaves us feeling kind of like, you know, uh, like I had a banana split in the bathtub the other day, or watching maybe more Netflix than usual. I'm still getting into the studio, but uh, responsibility. I mean, that's asking us to step up. It's asking us to um, take responsibility. Um, but the gesture is this thumbs up, right? So, thumbs up. Positive. Ego. The thumb of all the fingers, the thumb on a hand, represents the ego. So, responsibility and one steward. One steward, I'm going to look it up in my notes. One steward managing contradictions. So responsibility is something that each one of us needs to take from our own standpoint, from our egos, if you will, in a healthy sense to act as one steward, one steward. I take care of me, I take care of you, you take care of you, you take care of me. And how do we do that? What does that look like? What does responsibility mean in, in this sense, in these times when it's too much, too fast? So, fingers, right? We're in this fist with the thumbs up, okay? so. Using a thumbs up each day means empowering your own self, right? To show up for your day. To question yourself. And to be you for you and to come through for you. And so when I write these things, when I say this to you, I don't mean it in a sentimental or um, limiting way. I mean like, for real, like your responsibility, my responsibility, all of our responsibility. What does it mean to be you for you and come through for yourself? And sometimes that looks like eating a banana split in the bathtub, like for real. <laughs> it's like the best thing I did all week. Um, gives me a different feeling than, you know, painting for sure. But responsibility for me in this moment is meaning like coming through for you in the moment, whatever that looks like, so long as we have some awareness. I was not unconscious when I made that banana split. I was doing something silly and satisfying for me in the moment because that's what I needed. And then in other moments when I'm showing up for me, I'm, I'm working on 
you know, my painting or, or I'm informing myself about these times, right? So it's going to look different for everyone, depending whether what you, what your job is, if you have children, if you don't have children, you know, staying at home, it, it, it looks different. But the important thing is that we're showing up for you, for yourself. And here's what I wrote. Disciplined action in the midst of surprise and unusual events requires clear sight. These are unusual events. Clear sight. What does that mean? It, you know, does it mean I have my glasses on? Does it mean insight from within? Does it mean, you know, uh, inspiration from outside of ourselves? And I think it's all three. You know, one thing that I think, I know I forget, and I think most of us forget, you know, we talk about body, mind, spirit, right? Go for a run, read something uplifting, you know, connect with your higher power or a higher power as you perceive it. But the thing is, all of those three things are always happening all at once. Our focus may be just on what I want, or our focus may be on what we think a higher power wants from us. But the truth is, all of those things are always happening all at once. So sight, insight, being maybe a little more aware, conscious, fluid with where is my focus? Am I really coming from a material place, which we need to do, right? Am I coming from a more subtle place of dreams and intuition and connecting, you know, listening, uh, inner listening to my soul? Or am I giving it up, giving it over to a higher power, to a collective love? They're all happening in every minute of every day. All of it is always available to us, but our focus can get narrow. So I think um, qualifying our day for ourselves and taking responsibility could look like remembering body, mind, spirit is one thing, but where do we keep our focus? Are we dividing it up um, in an unhealthy way? I think that's taking responsibility ultimately for how we deal with too much, too fast. Um, so another interesting aspect of this card of responsibility is that um, it says physical desire and spiritual evolution are blended. We're, we as human beings are sexually magnetic, so refrain from recklessly taking what is not freely given. So if we hold this sexually magnetic idea in a larger context, right? We, we all have chi, we all have energy. It's the Shakti, the Kundalini, just the energy of being alive. We're electromagnetic beings, right? We attract, we repulse, we, you know, we're magnetic, uh, left and right, positive and negative. So, What's our responsibility? I mean, I'm gonna just be <laughs> like people hoarding toilet paper. Like that's not taking responsibility. I mean, I know that's kind of going out there on a stretch, but we really being reckless with, you know, our power, our energy, just because I have the ability to grab too much, does that mean I should? Um, I don't think so. And So it says scientific procedures are of interest to see things as they really appear in the world. So even within the scientific world, that involves body, mind, spirit as well, right? Because we're using our, our intellect, our hands to um, create. We're receiving inspiration from our deeper knowing, that's a more subtle use of research and implementation. And I do believe, this is my personal belief, um, that we have whisperings to us from whether we want to call them angels or a higher knowing. So all of that is also present in scientific knowing. And I think 
looking at this card, responsibility, okay, we have an obligation to listen in a scientific way. What does that mean to you? But I think it, it's helpful if I go back to the question of too much, too fast. So the question for this card, I have a question for every card, is when you care for others, how do you benefit? So that's our answer to how do we cope with too much, too fast. It's how do you benefit when you care for others? Okay, I'm going to leave you with that. And um, thank you.